Richard, great to be here at White House Machine Tools today. Um, yep. Good to see you. Very interested here to see this U630 from Spinner available from stock. Yeah. You do very well with the Spinner range here, don't you, at White House? Why do, do you think that is? It's a quality built German machine, is what Spinner is. And they're really major in complex machines, such as the U36. This is the advanced model, uh, full five axis machining center. Here it's specified with Siemens control system. But really it's down to the kinematics of the machine, uh, the motion control through the Siemens control system, and it's robust design as well. Very compact, but very robust design. Yeah, we're gonna pick out a couple of the, the, the points um, technically on the machine. One of the things I was gonna say at this point is there's a, there's a great video on our channels that we shot at Metal Tech in yeah. Hailsham. Yeah. Now, um, talking about the aspects you're talking about, the kinematics, the ovality that they were achieving from their uh, trachoidal milling was like nothing else. I yeah. mean, it was it was perfect for the application that they were doing. Yeah. So that really buys into the fact that you're saying stable, solid construction, but extremely accurate. So we'll put a link to that video uh, for people to watch as well. A couple of the points of this machine, it's available here from stock Peter, I want to touch on this table because there is a, an outer ring on here yeah. which can be removed, which you can barely see, but it yeah. can be removed. And what, why can you do that? What's the advantage to it? It's to do with interference and it's to do with tool length. So the typical table, where it gets its name from, is a 630 diameter. But when we're looking at smaller components, we want to be able to reduce that diameter so we can reduce interference, we can reduce tool length. And as we know, from a reduced tool length, we've got greater rigidity, which is going to uh, pay, pay dividends in terms of accuracy, but also surface finish. So I was talking to one of our applications team earlier that had been doing an application on a, a blade style machining application uh, and he was achieving less than one RA surface finish with that kind of setup though. So long cycle time but the finish was absolutely phenomenal. So really it plays into the rigidity uh, and capability of the machine which the feature that you touch on, been able to remove this ring, short tool lengths, better accuracy, better surface finish. And it's easy to do, you've just got a series of uh, bolts yeah. there you just undo take yeah. it off and yeah. then uh, you, you you know you're in, you're in a new configuration you are indeed in a new configuration and the other thing i should add to that as well is on the b axis and the c axis of the machine it's a supported b axis which is again uh, rigidity on the machine um, but it's also got scales on B and C axis so from a positional accuracy point of view on the machine uh, it's first class uh, you have a direct drive spindle on this machine we do indeed you also have the scales that you mentioned you've got uh, measurement probing on here supplied yep. by bloom yep bloom um, probing the access to the machine is, is, is great as well, isn't it? Some, sometimes we, you know, we look at these things and we talk about the, yeah. uh, the enhanced technical features, but we don't look at the ease of use for an operator. Great to be able to get in and, and set oh, this. I think you know, from uh, an access point of view for loading, for the operator to get into, it's fantastic. Um, and when you look at the footprint that the machine's in as well, so you're sort of two and a half meters by two and a half meters, but then when you look at the axis stroke that you've got, you've got a big working area and a very small footprint with a very good access. And I should also add to that, that within that small footprint, it's got a 54 position tool change on this model, which in such a small footprint is very, very unusual. That can be increased if needed, but this particular stock machine has got 54 position. And to add to that, looking at the Swarf conveyor, I mean, it's, it's, it's barely extended from the outside of the, uh, the area of the footprint of the machine itself. The incline is quite steep, which I'm also to told is good for draining coolant out as well. So it is, it's good for draining coolant back, but the, uh, the, the manufacturer spinner have really thought about not just the machine tool, but the ancillary equipment that's got to go on there. You see many machine tools where it's very much an afterthought about the swarf management system and the physical size that it's got to be to fit under the machine. But the manufacturers took it on board here to, to go with the compact design of the machine. He's thought about the integration, the style of conveyor. So yeah, it, it keeps it in a really, really small footprint. And uh, yes, yeah, really tidy. Got a lot of points out there, Pete. The final one for me is that control touch screen. Yeah. Uh, I, I, can't, I, couldn't, I think it's a 24 inch screen or something like that. But it's yeah, 24 inch screen, 24. Siemens 840D. Yeah, very easy to use and operate, I assume. Yes. Um, really lends itself to, to not just the youth of today, but maybe some of the older generation that are trying to get to grips with uh, I think so. the touch screen technology. <laughs> uh, it adds to the aesthetics as well, doesn't it? A really, really good looking, tiny piece of kit. Uh, it's easy to use, yeah. I mean, it, it's all adjustable. So the control screen can go up, down, it can be swiveled. Uh, so side to side, forwards and backwards. So from an ergonomics point of view, which we have to consider these days, uh, very easy. Uh, and it very much ties into the uh, the iPhone generation when you look at the format of the control, but it's very clear. Uh, and of course, the Siemens capability, I think is well known out in the market.
it's, so it's not just Siemens control, it's Siemens drive. So when we look at the motion control and capability of the machine, it, it's first class. Uh, available from stock, good time to buy. Siebel's has yes. been extended until the 31st of March. Yep. Opportunity for engineers to cut metal on a machine like this without yep. having to uh, really part with money, isn't it? Absolutely it is, yeah. I'd encourage any uh, machine tool buyer out there to, to look seriously at the requirements of what's available, as you touch on, Paul, to the 31st of March and take advantage while you can. But maybe look to step up in terms of the technology level with the equipment as well, which is what the Spinner U630 offers. Mm -hmm.